Today we're taking a look at Dragon Riders. Guys, this troop is extremely powerful when you know how to use it. And I'm going to tell you, I'm starting to crack the code, all right? The highlight of this video is going to be the next attack after this one, which is going to be a mass Dragon Rider that absolutely annihilates a base. But right here, we're pairing them up with the dragons. This is by far the most common application, and it's much easier. It really is. The dragons can take care of the heroes, the enemy CC, while you still get some of the power of the Dragon Riders. We got six of them in this army. Dude, on this base right here, man, I could could not refuse that value man not only the town hall i mean yeah we didn't get a scatter shot or an eagle or even an inferno tower we had so many expos and enemy heroes right over here and with dragon riders enemy heroes can be a big deal we killed the queen the royal champions that got like a third of her health so all of a sudden out of all these heroes in the base the queen and the royal champion that could threaten my dragon riders we only got a little bit of health left on that royal champion and guess what i'm gonna be sending my heroes towards that side of the base we're just gonna bum rush the most value in the base over here we we had an eagle with two scatter shots. It was a no-brainer, man. Full send, rages, grand warden ability, freezes, where we can get the eagle and the scatter shot together just to get my air troops through this section. Now, all we got left for a fairly healthy army is going to be two multi-target infernos that's really it we got heroes over here doing some ground tanking so we're going to sneak in the royal champion behind all that right there take out this multi we had a big group of dragons and dragon riders going down to the south side of the base since our heroes were cutting off the other path there so they were able to take out their multi compartment just fine and look at this man we still got a bunch of dragons left up on the board we got two up top we got three down bottom we still got a royal champion alive we got a queen with full health she's still got a unit unicorn she has not used her ability yet guys this base never even stood a single chance to one of the easiest trip probably the easiest triple i have done since the last update all right guys here it is the mass dragon rider attack now honestly dude this this uh scatter shot right here in the core is what kind of inspired me just to drop the dragons all together and just bring a ton of dragon riders and of course the blizzard man i gotta go for the town hall and the scatter shot i suspected it would be trapped well enough that there's no way I, I would get both those but man it was just too much value i had to try and sure enough it ended up working out this time if they tried to trap it they didn't do a good enough job at it if they didn't try to trap it well that's that's just silly and ridiculous but here we got this scatter shot in the core now the dragon riders are going to go straight for defenses so they have a much better chance of rotating in to grab that thing than just the dragons that go for the nearest building so here we go man dragon riders now look at this one set we had a royal champion over here we had a queen over here they're a threat to the dragon riders. so i had three headhunters in this army composition two of them went in right away to go take out this rc with that grand warden ability that way the royal champion can't just sit there and chip away at all of my dragon riders we get her taken out nice and early but we're holding on to one of those one of those headhunters for the backside queen now in here we got a single target inferno compartment man that thing would love to roast through my king through my queen i'd like to keep them alive longer so i brought some skeleton spells to keep that single occupied to keep that bk maybe distracted that way my bk my archer queen and eventually my royal champion who i'm going to be backing that side up with here in a moment can get through it look at this all three of those heroes still have full health well i guess all four if you're counting the grand warden but i don't really care what he's doing at this point in the attack he's still got that health aura helping the troops so definitely a bonus to have him up now we had one skelly left so i'm going to put that right next to that grand warden platform right in front of the queen two buildings or two defenses i guess i'd say and a hero that hit super duper hard all right so we kept that distracted that way we could get through the warden platform get through the queen and royal champion's actually able to use her ability to get some early damage in on the single which makes it really easy to take down after that i think the owl and the grand warden actually teamed up and took out the single with like the last hit there and look at this man we got no base left whatsoever man mass dragon riders we brought four baby dragons just to help with some cleanup they can also double as doing some funneling to get your heroes into a section but uh uh, for me, they just seem to be a lot more effective, a lot easier to use, a lot more of a no-brainer than bringing like 10 minions and getting them down in time and having them die to red bomb. Guys, meta's crazy right now, man. Supercell just basically bombed out all the ground strategies by not upgrading any of them. Upgrading the defenses further, but not upgrading any of the ground troops. And remember, Town Hall 14 got those extra wall pieces, which have been just absolutely devastating to so many ground attacks, man. It impedes all those ground troops, not the air troops. Last update, we got an all air troop upgrade. So air is like the only thing worth using right now and for 
for that, man, we're going to go ahead and use, we're just going to show one of these Electro Dragon attacks. Now, this one, I think it's pretty safe to say, is not going so far quite to plan, man. He's got those, so many of those E-Dragons out on the left. He's just going to have to keep using these support spells in a smart way to go ahead and yeah, even have a chance left on this one, man. Look at those E-Dragons. They refuse to go in after the single. They're just going to keep cleaning up the trash on the outside of the base, dude. We got the Unicorn on the Queen, which is pretty much what you're going to want with any of these air attack strategies, man. The Queen has so many hit points. She can do a lot better job, stay alive longer with her ability than the Royal Champion can. Um, but you got to make sure you have wall breakers, have a plan to get her into the base to the last little bit of defenses remaining. Now, the Queen is down, but she managed to take out most of the core. And because these E-Dragons just completely abandoned their duty, we've got like three left over here that have pretty decent amount of health. And just like this, dude, where did this base even go? He's still got a rage spell. I think he's going to want to use that on the E-Dragons. Try and get them into the single. Are they going to go to the single or that? Yeah, they're going to the bomb tower. Dude, of course they are, man. How dumb are E-Dragons? <laughs> they saved the single for the last the last defense in the base finally get him down dude alex bro i don't know how you pulled that one off because that did not look like it went according to plan i just gotta say obviously he didn't panic kept placing his spells in some smart smart places to get the most value out of him and just like that dude an attack that obviously didn't go to plan still managed to triple with e-drag all right guys to round out this video man let's see major pain's electro dragon triple here we go establishing an early funnel with some baby dragons getting the heroes down on the left to establish their side of the funnel i usually don't drop the heroes until after i've dropped my dragons or e-dragons or dragon riders just so they're not taking that early heat from the defenses so much but he got the e-dragons down right away so he's still going to be fine his heroes has still got lots of health on the left man if you can keep them or at least the queen alive to the end of the raid you can have a much better chance of making it through the base now he's got to support that middle group with another rage here we go We're looking for that blimp he's got to use his He's already used his Grand Warden ability. E-Dragons have already cleared the traps for the blimp. Here we go. He's got a poison even on the queen. He's freezing the sweeper. It's down. Oh, I like that, man. He's, he's uh, kind of preventing the queen from doing more damage with that poison. If he would have had a troublesome CC, he could have used that for that as well. So nice second use for the poison there when he didn't really have any trouble with the clan castle. Now we got Royal Champion coming in with the other heroes. That's important because the other heroes provide a little bit of ground tanking. That means you can sneak in some extra damage damage for your royal champion this time though man that ground bow just locked onto that royal champion right away so he dropped her in the right place maybe not at the right time and look at this dude look at this dude where did this base even go man he's got two e-dragons still up royal champion's doing amazing she's gonna survive the raid full health queen with her unicorn still has her ability guys that's how you do it with the e-dragon send the e-dragons in through the core freeze rage your way through most of the core rely on your heroes to clean up the last little bit and you're gonna have a lot of success man it really is just that easy with electro dragons right now guys air's crazy i gotta be honest with you guys i'm not that excited with the last update because i used it, pretty much entirely ground strategies before the last update so i'm really hoping that they boost some of our ground troops with the next update till then enjoy the air armies it is all that's in the meta right now i'll see you in the next video